In neighboring Singapore, the usually peaceful and orderly city-state was shocked by a riot. It's first in decades. Some 400 migrant laborers went on a rampage earlier this month after a fatal road accident. An Indian construction worker, apparently drunk, was killed. Over 30 people have been arrested so far. All of them are Indian nationals. The incident has brought attention to Singapore's 1.3 million foreign workers, many of whom work in low-paying jobs such as construction or domestic help. With reactions on social media, here's Sharinder Jit Kaur, a journalism student at Nanyang Technological University. Over 30 have been arrested so far, all of them Indian nationals. Some 4,000 workers have been questioned and a committee of inquiry has been set up upon the Prime Minister's orders. As police cars and an ambulance burned in Singapore's Little India, it did not take long for the heat to be felt online. Video of South Asian migrant workers setting vehicles ablaze and attacking the bus that ran over the victim quickly spread online. Scenes of police and Singapore Civil Defence Force officers being assaulted by rocks, beer bottles and other projectiles angered many and brought this immediate response from Singapore's Prime Minister. Whatever event may have sparked the rioting, there is no excuse for such violent, destructive and criminal behaviour. We will spare no effort to identify the culprits and deal with them with the full force of the law. The Prime Minister's comment drew more than 2,000 responses. Most echoed the Prime Minister's promise. Track them, find them, make them regret, went this response. No one should enter my country, attack my police and SCDF officers, burn public property and think they can walk away. This user wrote, These rioters should be severely prosecuted to restore the reputation of our country as being a safe country. There were racist comments like this one from a radio DJ, making fun of the Indians' complexions. But D. Kosh was also roundly criticised. This user said, not a great time to make such irresponsible racist remarks. I hope he gets what he deserves, a sack from his job. It's noteworthy that the condemnations came from Singaporeans of Indian descent. All eyes are now on a committee of inquiry that is investigating on how a road accident flamed into a riot. The committee of inquiry is also expected to suggest how such an incident can be prevented in the future. This is Sharing the Jitko in Singapore for Link Asia. And Reid Korchestal helped with that story. Now on U.S. Airwaves, a global channel of uncompromising stories. World news, documentaries, entertainment, and culture. Link TV, connecting you to the world. For more information, visit linktv.org.